Okay, guys, three things to take from that video game three of the Earn to Master series. Number one, Garen matchup. He didn't go ghost, he didn't go face rush. Trindermir gets countered by armor and MS. And you're gonna see that I actually abused the matchup, doing nothing crazy, just like kind of stat check because he went ignite and conqueror. And this is gonna happen a lot in lower elos. This matchup becomes giga easy if this guy has neither ghost or face rush. And when they go ghost and face rush, now they can just take like, scale up for free. It becomes a very tough matchup actually since the Garen buffs. So that's one thing. Second thing. It's all about the waves, especially in early game. You're going to see that every single plan that I make, every single thing that I do is connected to a wave state. So keep an eye on that. Think about how you would have managed this or this wave. Number three, jungle tracking. I get two early kills just from jungle tracking. So maybe the things that I use to track the Vi, you can use them as well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Much love. <laughs>
The Garen is scared of me. I mean, he's ready to be scared, but he should at least like trade autos. Okay. Uh, we see my bot now, and my mastery is invading. We can actually look to make a play. Like the best play here, the best play possible would be if we can dive Garen, right? So what if I crash with three? Okay, never mind. I messed up. Okay, a mechanic that you can practice, actually in practice tool by putting a dummy, is how you can poke under turret. Um, so the reason why I got the push is just like in a matchup like this where I'm actually winning. Well, I really want to have the level 2 first so I can actually win my matchup. Because if you're in a winning matchup but the opponent gets his level up first... I should have been way more careful. Then... Well, then you, you, you basically lose the trade in a winning matchup and you don't want that to happen. If he queues, I'm gonna E instant away because he can Q flash. Okay, bro, you need to come. Um, well, let's see. Well, now he's in a tough spot. We might, my W actually can sell Garen's passive. So he's not getting HP here. Uh, I don't want to go that far up because during that time I will just do so much golden experience. But this is really good for us because, like, well, he's missing golden XP. Uh, I want to base because I got first blood actually and. Well, I want to use that gold they got for myself. So now I would decide on slow pushing. Why is that? Waves, rotation of waves. You have a cannon wave here. So it means that the next two waves are not cannon. Cannon waves come every three waves. So if I crash the cannon wave, I know that by the time Garen comes back, He's gonna have this wave to take under turret. And the next wave he will have to deep push in order to bring it to my turret is gonna be again not a cannon wave. Um by slow pushing here, first I make sure that I can crash the wave safely, because it's such a big one. And also it gives me more time basically. And against Karen it's a bit different because maybe he can just like one shot the casters, but I don't think he can do that yet. And by doing that, yeah, I just I just get more time and also I get more gold, so I get the better base. Um, so yeah, I, I'm trying to, to base on cannon ways when they're gonna come, because it gives me more time. But if I cannot, I will well, basically find another way to get a lot of time. It could be proxying, it could be doing what I did with the slow push. Now I see that there's an objective topside. And I'm the top laner, I'm responsible for topside objectives. My jungler is bot, so I'm just gonna drop a ward. And now Garen is gonna die soon. Why is he gonna die? Because he doesn't respect develop timers. He's gonna maybe look to go for the cannon. Okay, he's not. Okay, on next CS, I get over 6. He's actually respecting. Well, I respect him for respecting. But he still dies. I cured the very last moment, so I don't die from the ignite. Now I see that shit's going down on Drake, so I'm guessing that uh, Vi is around there. So I would actually crash this. Okay, oh, she was on grubs. Yeah, I could have seen that because my ward was not up anymore. So we actually lost that 4v3 on the map. It's okay. So now, again, because I crashed the wave, now the next this wave meets closer to his turrets. So it means that it's pushing to me naturally because his minions are gonna hit mine first. Uh, yeah. Why did he E here?
Hey, Eid. Okay. If we do two for one, I'm fine with it. Uh, I have decent amounts of attack speed, so at this point, if you can hit consistently, crit is going to be more damage than even more attack speed on it. I mean, it's pretty close, but I think the math is right here. Um, anyway, so so I saw her with my W. I was walking because my jungler is still bot and I know that well, she was top on grubs. So now I'm just walking towards top and I'm just looking at my W. And my W did light up, so I know that she's there, and then I flash to block the Q. Um, let's see. I don't think that without Ghost, he has boots, and I have boots. And he has movement speed on his Q, and he has tenacity on his W for my W. So I don't think I can look to just like, kill the Garen. What I'm gonna do is use my Demolish to get another type of win. Now I'm gonna drop Vision. And you know what? I'm gonna go for the easier play. Oh, yeah, you can just pull Garen with the auto E out. And the easier play is what? You're just gonna play on your power spikes. That's my power spike here that I wanna play on. 34 seconds cost. And he's just standing. I have vision for Vai, that's why I'm also allowing myself to go. 20 seconds. Ah, it's gonna be a pretty bad timing. I wish I had ghost like right now. Unless he based. I mean I guess he was kinda low in HP. So now one play that might look advanced, but it's not. It's basically like Okay, various bot. Instead of just hitting the turret, if I can prevent access. I actually get hit by that, by that other third shot. I, I should have kept my E basically. I don't know why I E for damage. You should like only E to gap close if you need to. Um, did I need to E for gap close? I don't know. I just wanted to save my goals though. That was the, like, the biggest thing. But I guess it's fine because it's a gold reset. Like his gold value is going to stay high and I get Kraken now. So it's a death that doesn't cost us much. Um, again, and look at that. Again, the wave is good for me. It's it's it has always been good for me. The only moment it wasn't good, it's because like I died and I spent a lot of time off map when I killed Vai. And here, because he's not pushing, I might have a bit of time, but it's just gonna be a bit of time. Wait, are we not? Okay, never mind. Now. It was just a bit of time because he could have crashed this wave. He might look toward this bush. Would I rather give it to... Okay. I was gonna say Garen or Vai. I was thinking Garen. Uh, well, we get his flash. It's a flash advantage, and the wave ends up crashing. Ah, this was probably not worth it. I was just happy with my uh, with my little trap. Just didn't think about the fact that our flash our flashes were desynchronized because I flashed for Vai here, and he flashed well when he, when we killed each other or when I killed him. Um. It's okay though, because now he's gonna come back and I will have, well, Flash Advantage and Ult and Kraken. And I think that I can actually 1v2 them, because I think that Vi is on grubs right now. Yeah. 
Uh, this was a bad word. I should have just worded our group on the way there. Now, if you place confident, it means that Vay is there. If it doesn't, it means that well, she's not. I'm going to try to pretend that I'm not dangerous. And see if he goes for one of these. Yes, it's going to be on next wave, though, because it's pretty obvious. He's not going to walk up now. Okay. Vay is mid. Are mid turrets in danger? Mid turret is actually in danger because they have grubs and they are killing mid again. So because it's in danger, I will get the one here. I can't. I cannot. Can't. Okay, it's not because someone pings you that you should go, of course, you should mask yourself, like, is that the right play? Now, I'm not pushing that next wave because Garen was gonna come soon. And maybe they would also want to go and uh, on top lane and collapse on me. Okay. Well, Vi is bot and they just took mid turret and they spend a lot of time on the map, so they're probably resetting. And I saw on minimap that red buff is spawning. So I can ping this because now I'm taking red buff. And with Master Yi, we can take Herald. Yeah, nice. He goes straight there. He doesn't take blue buff. Really good. So we're gonna have the import base, which is nice. Oh, these drakes are really good for our team. It's good. It's good on its attack speed and and haste, I think, which is really good on, on Master Yi, on Virus, and on me. Yeah, I was gonna say they may be there. Oh, they have vision. Okay, yeah, we've, we can fight. Being strong in the 2v2. We see everyone. I mean, we could also look to dive them, but as I said, like we're not going to go for complicated plays. Diana was roaming. Can I drive this? Let's try it. Okay, it was not too hard actually. I just saw that they had I wanted to. to run. And yeah, mid turret is well, the most important turret in the game. Uh, I don't have my Navar yet, so I'm not gonna base yet. Maybe I can go and kill that guy, you know, that Vay is bot. I called, but it would be close and I would spend everything. And again, I don't want to go for anything that's too mechanical or complicated or could be close. I'm just gonna buy my Navari. Now we're in mid game, so red trinket, pink ward. And there's a Drake in a minute. I'm probably just gonna play for that. There is a shutdown on Vi. I want this. Okay, well, we get two flashes. Um, the 
only bad thing is that I use everything before Drake, but I mean, they kind of use everything before Drake as well. Because now Drake is spawning and I don't have anything, but Vayne is dead and Jenna is out. And Vi is late and we have a lot of uh, vision on their bot side, so we, yeah, we see Vi coming. So we end up getting Drake, so it's fine. Yeah, that's why we're gonna worry and Shin for PD. Uh, you need to defend this. Harry, TP, TP. Okay, one issue you have in lower elos is the rotations. Even if you have good ideas of where she should be on the map, her team is most likely not gonna listen. Like, like, like TP, TP, yo. If they, like, it's gonna happen, it's whatever. Most likely, you're gonna try to make the calls and see if they listen or not. And if they don't, you need to fill the gap, basically. That's the idea. Ah. You need to be where no one is. And here, that's what Ari failed to do. She failed to see that no one was top and she had TP and she didn't go there. Or we could have, like, now they're sharing midways. I really don't like this. Like, basically, like, you want someone top lane. No. I'm guessing in her mind, she's like, well, I'm the mid laner, so I should be mid lane, you know. That's not that's not how the game works. And if you guys yourselves are going top lane because you're the top laner, well, it is wrong as well. Where, for example, where do I want to be and why? Uh, let me pull that. Yeah. It was close. Way closer than it should be. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, I don't see everyone on the map. Can we? I think we can. Let's go. They're not gonna expect it. Well, the jungler is dead. So we're just gonna take that. And the reason why I was bot is because next objective was gonna be Nash. And I'm a split pusher, so I'm split pushing. So I'm pushing away from my team or where my team wants to be. Up. <laughs> and now we get Nash. And now we get her flash as well. For her life. Okay, and now we play for Drake. Good thing my team listened here, proud of them. So what did I see here? 20 minutes, jungle dead. And also we have vision, the wave were the waves were pushed. It's so many good reasons to go for it. Okay, let's see Drake in 120. So, in order to play for Drake, I could either go crazy top lane if I think that I can dive and kill multiple people there and bring people top 2 or 3 so my team has a number advantage. To get that cannon, you know. Or I could bring someone top. Mm 
bring someone top and then rotate to my team. Now, because I'm feeling strong enough and I feel like I can just like run people down and kill them, I went top. But if for some reason a like, Garen was respecting, playing well, etc. Well, in that case, I would... Um, I would just go back to what it's called. Uh, sorry, it's for, it's 430 <laughs> Um, I w yeah, I would go to my team and then just like Garen, because he has no TP, he would be top, trying to defend on me, but then I'm just rotating on the map. And Trinomir is one of the fastest champions on the map, because you have your E, you go through walls, and that's also one of the reasons why you don't need TP on Trinomir. It's not that you don't need it, it's like, well, first, like, you need Ghost, so that's one of the reasons why you don't run TP. And the other is that you're very fast on the map. Not like Malphite, that's slow as fuck on the map, you know. Okay. And now we have Nash, so uh, An ally has been slain. I would like to have a wave assignment where we're playing on multiple waves because, well, five Nashes on a wave doesn't do more than one Nash on a wave, you know. So I was happy with the Varys being mid and Ari being top and me being bot. But very stayed. It's okay. Just gonna adapt. Uh, Master is gonna take Raptors, so I'm gonna take Scuttle. We make sure that we get everything. Yeah, exactly. I thought that she went on it. I should catch up without Ghost. Okay, we take her jungle, Master is taking bot jungle, I would go and take top jungle. What I'm doing now is I'm waiting for the next objective. I'm not gonna try to flip like ending the game as 5 or whatever, even if it could work in theory. Well, it's not guaranteed. What's way more guaranteed is to play for Nash. Now, I was looking to play for Nash, but Karen face checked me. I was able to kill him. And then, and then we were like in a number advantage. And Ari goes for the dive, so I'm just like, I'm just going with the flow, you know. But my idea was to be in control and to play for Nash and to get everything. To get the camps to like not let them play in the game basically. And GG. So that was in gold elo as well. And I think we're gonna have like three, four other games in gold elo before we get in platinum. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Next video is gonna be well tomorrow most likely. Same time, same place. Until then, take care of yourselves, guys. Good can have fun in game and in real life. I'll see you next time. Peace, much love. Bye bye.